Sure. Yeah, there's a lot of activity that happened rapidly in the 1870s and 80s. But prior to that, they did have a few Chinese Bibles that made their way to Japan. I wonder if these are names of translators or or what? Oh. So this is talking about the reign of the third year. Right. Yeah. Uh, they worked hard. Were supported by the government. I think it must have been the translators. I don't know. These are ones of names. Yeah, they had texts in the building. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is where the texts were kept. Ah. From the one, Western one journey? of which, according to some stories, one of which was a finger bone of the Buddha. No. Oh. But then that was supposedly taken from here over to the Fatsun uh, temple, sort of uh, north. A little bit northeast of here. Uh, when did the Buddhists start venerating relics? Oh, as soon as, uh, as, soon as Buddha died. died. Okay. Mm -hmm. Completely the third eye. <laughs> Big third out of the Deep. Pop oh, would be really good. No doubt. It was already really good. Yeah. The glass is good too. That's nice awesome. and clean. Can you imagine reading? Alright, so this is also. What often happened was that you had transcription and translation errors. Oh yeah. That were made because you couldn't recognize the character. Or you make a guess. You know, or in this case a sutra uh, marking, right? Don't actually know what markings are called in sutra in, in uh, Sanskrit, do you? No, I know very little about that. But you could easily misidentify. Look at this. Look at that. Modern and ancient. ancient. All that uh, graffiti on the... <laughs> this is a reliquary. Oh, okay. Reliquary. Reliquary. Huh. And I don't know what was kept in it. 
Yeah, it's got your Vajrayana. Oh, it's cool, it's cool. 